Welcome back. This is going to be the final episode. I think it's number six on the uh, E-Flight 90 millimeter Viperjet turbine conversion. Uh, I did a couple things since our last video. Uh, we did glue in the uh, receiver shelf last time. I uh, added some blocking on top and bottom just to make sure it's it doesn't go anywhere because I do mount a gyro stabilized receiver on it. Um, I uh, elected to install the vents because it's kind of hard to see. So what I do is, you know, you can do whatever you want. Just stick a piece of brass tubing through the model. I um, I make a piece of brass tubing. I silver solder a little piece of 025 um, um, brass to it. Mount it to a piece of plywood. Then I drill a hole in the bottom of the airplane. It goes pretty much straight down in this uh, real estate right there. Comes out right there. And, you know, it's fine. Just exit it out of the bottom of the model, unobstructed, and you'll be fine. And, uh, you know, it's a nice piece of tubing here out of the way of everything. It works out fine. Um, what else up here? Oh, and I got the wiring installed because uh, we're going to uh, glue on the bottom of the model now. Um, I extend, I'm not a fan of sticking a bunch of wire harnesses on it and everything and using extensions. So uh, I uh, soldered on about a five inch lead off of all six wires coming from the wings. I mean, it just, it gives you room to do what you want. Everything's labeled. And um, that's how I do it. I just, I'm not a believer of the, um, you know, servo extensions and all those wire harnesses. And I'm using a 12 channel receiver. So I got, you know, plenty of channels for, um, um, everything um all this here this customer uh, decided he wanted unilite so this is the unilite wires and we're not going to get into that um so let's flip over the um but, oh and then um since he's got unilites on it um i had to run a wire out for the unilites and the brakes normally if you're just doing brakes a wire right down the middle works fine um you know, it still allows you to remove the wings, fairly simple. All right, so um, in this uh, area here, you know, once again, I highly recommend putting in the wires before you glue in the glue on the bottom of the model. It just makes life so much easier. Um, other than that, I think we're ready to glue on the bottom. So uh, do a little trial fit here. Um, you can see by the uh, impression of the carbon paper on um, where the, the tank is pretty, or the uh, bottom of the fuselage is coming in contact with the tank. So we're gonna uh, apply a little bit of Gorilla Glue in this area here and a little bit there. And then uh, I'll just do a trial fit here. Everything looks good, we're ready to glue it on. Oh, and um, before you do that, this area right up in here you want to make sure you got enough real estate and opened area to get your uh, three wire connector through on one side and your four mil two, uh, fuel line tubing on the other side. Um, just make sure there's clearance for it. It's a lot easier to do it now than later. Okay, so um, we're ready to glue it on. So I glued the uh, the one on the other model uh, last night, we'll take a look at that um, after we're done with here. And uh, if you remember from the previous videos, I used uh, uh, that like a razor knife in this area here. And it's, you know, it's pretty much a, a perfect fit. It did get a little wider up in here where I had to use the hacksaw blade. But um, you don't need a lot of glue. And I'm going to show you exactly how much you use. Okay. So here we go. I kind of keep it away from the perimeters a little bit. It just uh, keeps the squeeze out to a minimum. So I'll put just a little bit more in this area here where I had to use the hacksaw blade. And then stay away from the spar slots so you don't get any of them. So I'm going to put a little bit on these. And then we're going to 
lightly mist it with water when I'm done here. Once again, stay away from the edges a little bit. Okay. Okay, we're gonna put a little bit, um, I'm gonna put it on the uh, foam here. Let Mrs. Applebaum do this video again since she did an excellent job on the last one. Okay. I'm going to lightly dust it. And here we go. So, you know, a little bit comes out of the top, but, you know, that's life. I'm going to slide as far as through to locate it. And that's it. I'll come back and monitor it a little bit. That last one, I put a little piece of tape across here, just in case it weren't a spread on me. And, uh... I'll, I'll keep an eye on it, but um, once again, that's it for this. So let's uh, go over here. Um, this is the one I did last night. You know, you, you, it, you got a little squeeze out here. Um, you know, it, it's adding structural integrity to the model, which should make, you know, who happy. Um, if you look down in there, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, there's hardly... There's hardly no squeeze out in the uh, inlet. Everything's looking really good. And uh, as you can see on this, this customer just wanted brake. So uh, I got the brake wire right in the middle. And uh, the, everything's, you know, pretty much ready for the uh, customer to install his uh, receiver. And then uh, let's talk real quick. Um, I don't supply the pump mount or any, anything, but I'm going to show you how I do it. And grab a pump. You know, there's no right or wrong way to, to do on this. I just like the pump in a nice, uh, relaxed position. Pump's going to go right there. Um, so I got this turned around. Yeah. That yeah, pump goes right there. Nice, relaxed run between the... Um, UAT and the pump. I mean, it's not rocket science. Um, and I, I personally like to use or use my filter and shutoff valve on the pressure side of the pump. I know uh, he recommends on the suction side, but uh, I've been doing it for two plus years and it's been working fine. Um, on this model here, uh, one thing I'm not going to show you. It's really easy to do. Is you got to take the uh, the part that we cut out. I think was in the first video. It was like a three inch uh, section here. We um, took out and added to the hatch to make the uh, access for the engine so much easier. So I just uh, glued that on with uh, some E6000. Um, nothing special. And you do got to do a little trimming here because you take a little bit off right here and take a little nub off right there because that's uh, in the area where the engine mounts are. Everything fits in, you know, real nice. And uh, to get this to hold on here, um, I supply you with two laser cut pucks. I just route into the, I'm not gonna do it now, but I route it into the uh, piece we just glued on. They will get glued in with E6000 like that. And then I'm supplying two poly ply strips that these are going to get bonded on to the removable hatch. 
Um, make sure you scuff this a little bit before you bond it on. Bond them on in that general vicinity, and then you're going to install a screw in each one of these, and that's going to hold it down. Other than that, um, this this one's ready to uh, deliver to the customer. Um, I do do, uh, you know, if you guys want to send me um, a fuselage, I do do the install. This would be exactly how you would receive the model. Um, do the brakes and basically everything you see here. Uh, we'll talk about fees if you're interested uh, later. Um, but this is a complete kit going to my first customer. Um, I got a sheet. This is everything you're going to get. Um, tank, pipe, carbon paper, the two trim templates here, the five laser cut parts, the pucks we just talked about, poly ply, screws, the clunk, Proflex fuel line, the stopper for the tank, and then the, uh, the brackets to uh, uh, mount the pipe. And then I'm including the, um, uh, the 564th music wire. And one thing I didn't uh, elaborate on is after you're done installing all your equipment up front, um, there's going to be a little bit of foam removal that you're going to have to do on the hatch to clear this. It's, it's nothing major. The new tank design should alleviate a lot of problems. But uh, just use your carpet paper in this area here once everything's all said and done. And um, it'll come out nice. Don't have your hatch preloaded up with interference. Make sure you uh, use a carbon paper. Relieve everything that's touching it so it's a nice relaxed fit. Uh, that's about all I got. Um, thanks for watching. And... Um, it's a great flying model, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you. Bye.